As a poultry farmer, have you ever seen chickens poop look like exactly the feed they eat? Or the birds stop eating, have a big or sagging crop? This is called indigestion. In this video, I want to discuss what causes this condition, how to know your birds are suffering from it, and most importantly, if you stick with me to the end of this video, I will give you five natural treatments to help your birds recover from this condition. But before I continue, I am glad to let you know that you can join our amazing farmers who have subscribed to our YouTube channel to help us reach the 100,000 subscriber mark. We are now at 90,000 subscribers and this will not only help our channel grow but also help many farmers have these educative videos shown to them. It's amazing how you can just change someone's life by just hitting that subscribe and like button. Indigestion is a metabolic disorder that affects certain parts of the chicken's digestive system, especially the crop, the gizzard, and the small intestines. Birds suffering from indigestion usually number one refuse to eat and drink, look depressed, the crop is very full and distended or bigger than normal and may sometimes sag and this is what we call the pendulous crop. Another thing is that the bird will give green poop and this is because at the, when the feed gets stuck in the crop or the gizzard this makes the the bile juice which is produced from the liver to lack something to digest in the small intestines and also in the proventriculars and this leads to appearance of the greenish poop in the feces and another thing is that you will see the chicken poop looks like the feed the chickens eat, meaning that it wasn't properly digested. And there are many causes of this condition. And one of the most common causes include, number one, is about, about the fungi and the toxins. When chicken are fed on feed that is poorly stored, especially in wet areas, uh, which then makes these fungi to grow in the feed, this, intro, uh, this may introduce the fungal infection that may grow in the crop leading to sour crop or what we are calling the distended or the abnormally big crop. And toxins of fungi are called mycotoxins. An example of one that is common is the aflatoxins. And these toxins decrease the bile juice secretion which blocks digestion and absorption of feed and nutrients. The second cause is the inactive gizzard. The pebbles and small stones that accumulate in the gizzard usually act as the teeth of the chicken and when the gizzard muscles contract, it helps in grinding the feed using these peb pebbles or the sand or the small stones. Therefore, if your birds have no access to roam outside, it's good to provide them with grit. In layer birds, grit is usually added in the feeds but you have to confirm if it hasn't been added because lack of grit in birds causes indigestion and makes the feed to get stuck in the gizzard which causes indigestion. Grit is just a um, commercial name for these small stones or the sand or the pebbles that free range chicken can you know collect outside. The other thing that causes this indigestion is excessive carbohydrates in the feed. High levels of carbohydrates in the diet of chicken stimulates excessive release of the hydrochloric acid in the small intestines which leads to faster passage of feed through uh, through these small intestines making the poop to appear like it contains feeds as they were fed because if the feed passes faster through the small intestines it's not going to be digested properly and also utilized or absorbed the other thing is about the anti-nutritive factors the anti-nutritive factors are toxic nutrients or compounds found in poorly processed chicken feed ingredients like 
the gossipo which is found in the soybean meal which is not properly roasted before being used to make chicken feed. The gossipo and other anti-nutritive factors usually block enzyme activity leading to indigestion and the fifth important cause of indigestion is the intestinal parasites and these worms are very fatal because when they multiply in the small intestines they cause unfavorable environment for the action of enzymes and absorption of feed and even to some extent they can block the small intestines if the chickens are not dewormed now what are the organic treatments to eliminate this condition and number one is about providing grit to your chicken make sure that you provide grit for your birds or the sand uh, or you can break small stones in small sizes like the green size used in the feeds then you can place them in a pecking block or a container for the birds to pick at free choice an alternative is to you know have the grit added in the feeds especially for the caged birds if your birds are in the cage then you can confirm if the feed contains this grit the other thing is about using the, the cedar vinegar or hoid vinegar vinegar has acetic acid and this acidifies the crop to let go of the stuck feed materials because it's able to kill the fungi that causes the feed to get stuck in the crop another thing is that the vinegar helps in healing of the inflamed gut Another thing about vinegar is that it helps to kill bad bacteria and increase feed utilization. Also, uh, this vinegar, when it kills the bad bacteria, this helps to boost uh, the growth and multiplication of the good bacteria, therefore creating a good environment in the gut of the chicken for digestion and this helps to boost digestibility the amount of the vinegar that is the either the cedar or the white vinegar that you are going to add into the chicken's drinking water is two ml per liter of water give it for two days another thing is about using the cooking or edible oil for example the essential oil or the normal cooking oil that you use in the kitchen and it's not the fat here i'm talking about the liquid oil and uh, when you add a few mls and you give uh, the chickens via the mouth and you massage the crop this helps the feed that is stuck in the crop to move down the throat the other thing is about the baking soda the baking soda has been found to be one of the beneficial treats when it comes to indigestion and the amount that you are going to add into the drinking water of the chicken is one gram per liter of the drink of the chicken's drinking water the fifth most important treatment is the sour milk the sour milk contains the lactic acid bacteria which is capable of creating environments that are going to kill the fungi bring about multiplication of the good bacteria and also it is a good dewormer therefore it will help to flush out these worms that can be causing this indigestion now as you use these treatments to give to your chicken so that they can be able to recover from indigestion I recommend also that you watch the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the natural treatments for diarrhea in your chicken.